Hello everyone, welcome back. This video is highlighting my very slow climb to 1600 in this Dragonflight Season 1 expansion. This first round here is just a mirror comp. I like these a lot. I think it's a good way to really test out what you know and tease out some variables because you can't blame different specs for doing different things because you're fine yourself. We do pretty well in this match, but I'm using this beginning video just to narrate and give context what's going on. All these clips were taken in the midst of the massive RET suppression cycle where RET Paladins were running wild and doing massive amounts of damage and healing and topping the charts. Fist Weavers are also really prevalent right now and they're actually a huge problem for my comp. Um, I reached out to a higher level Fist Weaver just to figure out how to basically counter him and he, he didn't have a whole lot of advice to give because I can't root him forever and they can dispel the roots. And I can't slow them at all because I don't have any slows and Paul doesn't have much either. So if we run into a Fist Weaver, it's a really huge uphill battle. And I, I highlight that later on in, in one of these upcoming battles. But anyway, so I start around 1400 and then me and Paul, which is the hunter there, Botox, we tried to climb and hit 1600. And we stalled around, or I stalled more specifically around 1550 for a while. We'd bounce up and down. I think the highest I ever got with him was about 1580, so very close, but eventually I broke through, and you'll see that at the end of the video, but I did have to play with some other specs just to, to climb over that little hump. He plays very well as a hunter. He We start crossy seeing a lot, following up. We're in Discord together, so we're, we're communicating the whole time, and after playing over 100 games together, we're pretty good at lining things up and chaining things together so it was not an issue of compatibility or, or skill it's just for whatever reason our, our comp was not doing well with the the flavor of the month comp which is Brett Pally, Fist Weaver, uh, and a little bit of Arsham too. Alright so I put this one in here specifically to highlight what I was just mentioning before really prevalent comp here uh, it's either Rhett Pally Resto Sham or Rhett Pally Fist Weaver it's, it's not normally a Mist Weaver it's a Fist Weaver because why heal when you can also do the damage of DPS at the same time, which is, for whatever reason, what they are granted. This is one of my favorite opens. Uh, I get chastised every time I do it online, but I just like it. Double stun, a lot of damage, get him trapped, and then it forces a cocoon. Specifically in this comp, so if this weaver can't heal off me. Okay. I made a video about fist weavers and said how strong they were because I, I was on my lock and I posted a three minute video of just railing on one. It was me, Paul the Hunter, and then um, our disc priest. And he tanked us for about three and a half minutes straight. The major comments that I got back was, well, get out of his feline. So I'm going to take that advice to heart and we'll see how well that plays out this game. There's another feline, but this one doesn't count because I'm in Tranquil, so we're all good. And we're healing up. Those failings keep popping up, but don't worry, we're staying out of it. But um, he's, he's not dying for some reason. Not sh not sure why. I get to root the the ret. Oh, they also have a lot of CC too. Yeah, that's also a weird thing. Oh, there's another failing. Gotta get out there. I'm getting the ret completely out of the fight this match. We're just trying to kill the monk. He just scattered him, switching back on him. I get to re stealth. Again, stun, cyclone. It's really almost a 2v1 most of this match. We're keeping the ret out of the game, trying to kill the healer. But it doesn't make a whole lot of difference. You'll see right now he has freedom on, so he can't really do a lot with him. He shields. A good comment I saved, uh, stay out of the fey line, which we did. But it didn't matter. I right, hear was another really popular comp. Again, ret pally, this time with resto shaman. This was a very... Uh, gifted team. I'm pretty sure they were in comp with each other too because they, they cross CC pretty well and did a lot, a lot pretty well together. Resto Shamans are pretty strong, but the, my biggest issue with them is, is wind shear is so easy for them to cast and on such a short CD. I do know right there that I need to back up so he doesn't hit me with his thunderstorm when he's stunned so I can follow up. There's a wind shear. If I cast there, 
get the clone off, but they instantly trinket. Start playing hot, so I get low, so I go ahead and tranquil here. Paul is just laying down the damage, freeze traps up. If you look at the DPS at the bottom, the red is far by past. Well, not really far, but he's already up by about 10% of the damage. Even though I'm turning into bear and running around and trying to slow him down and kite. And then Paul's providing persistent continual damage as a Beastmaster. I'm trying to get an open right here. We're just stalling a little bit, healing up. Trying to get a CC on the resto so we can burst the, the ret down. I see my opening, I go in. I'm still too close though. I bet he thunders. Ah, oh, never mind. The Hodge cooldown too makes it a little bit difficult. Uh, I can bark skin through one of the Hodges, trinket the other Hodge, uh, use a couple defensive CDs when I need to, but the cooldown is so short that eventually he's going to hit me with a Hodge that I just don't have anything left for. I don't really know what broke that, that ice trap there. There was an error, or there was a time during this ret rampage where they had a vengeful right here as a cross CC. They do that a couple times. There was a skill, I think vengeful aura, a PvP skill, where Hallies just randomly dispel harmful effects, which makes it incredibly hard to CC their opponents, or allies rather. That got changed in current time. Today is April 12th, I believe. That was just a recent change yesterday, actually, a hot fix. But these videos here, um, the rats are still able to dispel a lot. So sometimes the ice traps just disappear, and that's just from the ret randomly dispelling without knowing that he's dispelling. He just has that. Another Hodge. Get Tranquil out. Trying to keep up. Oh, that's another thing too that's pretty cool about shamans. Am I cool? I mean annoying. Uh, they can purge, and uh, this one definitely did that. You'll see my life blooms are falling off quite quickly. It's because he's he's purging them. I did start taking thorns more. I found the extra damage I did from it was really satisfying, and it put a lot more pressure. And if I'm going to get stuck, now on rats I can kite, but if I'm going to get stuck by other classes, especially warriors, when I can't get away, uh, then it's nice to have. And one of the tactics that actually Paul and I have used on mirror comp or comps containing Beastmaster is we can put thorns on whoever's getting targeted and burst down their, their animals pretty quickly. They're monsters. Overall, I think this match, I did a pretty good job of staying alive. My health didn't really ever dip that low. I kited around a lot. Uh, he's really good at getting that thunderstorm off when, yeah, and then nature locked right after. So I can't follow up with a clone very well. Here's the Hodge. Try to trinket that one. Just the burst is just disgusting. Getting really low here. And Paul gives me a little bit of cleave, or a little bit of uh, peel rather, so that I can I can heal up. He hexes Paul and then immediately lassos me. We're both CC'd. My trick is already blown, and that's the end of that game. Honestly, this one was a very well played match. All right, this last clip I wanted to play just because how insane it is. It's a double DPS clip, and anytime I get to double DPS around 15 or 1600, they normally know what they're doing. If they climb that high, and these guys could definitely pump it. So I open on the ret with my right clone, my favorite open. Guy runs back on me. Does a little lightning lasso, Paul stuns them, they get stunned. Start applying hots everywhere, they double focus on Paul. This is a match I definitely want to take thorns, because um, I just need reactive resin to keep, I need all the heals I can get. If you look at the enhanced shaman's health, it keeps dipping, but then it pops back up and dips and pops back up. He's already gone back to almost full health. I don't know if that's from off heals from the... Pally, or if it's from self heals from the enhance. Either way, they're not casting. They just, I guess, get to do that in tandem with massive, massive damage. Paul almost gets dropped here. I actually probably should have trinketed. If I was telling him to, to turtle for sure during that time. 
flying hots, flying hots, they split here. Probably should have just kept focusing on one, but that's okay. Vorpal was a big savior there. There's a flash of light that he tried to heal his buddy up with a little bit. They use a, a bop to stall a little a little longer. Paul drops out again, super low again. He's, ooh, he's hodged. Dispel that. He has no more turtle, so I can't let him get too low. Put some shield on him. Running around. This clone is clutch here. Especially because he has wings on. They were trying to cross, cross CC there, and Paul manages to kill the hunter. I mean, not the hunter, the shaman. It's not over yet, though. Because that pally can still come in there, CC everything, and then just start banging. I slow him down, go into bear form, moving around, and Paul just is railing him down. Like I said, overall, this is just a really. Um, I'm gonna pause it here for a second, just so y'all can see the the damage. So and damage and healing rather. So Paul did the most damage, 2.6 mil. The red did 2 million damage, despite being Vortex cloned, stunned multiple times, just not really in the fight for a good chunk. But the healing is what I want y'all to see, is that Enhanced Shaman did 1.2 million, and the red did 600k. Together they did almost 2 million healing, uh, which is, is crazy. Alright, so this last clip is just the ending of the battle that finally got me to 1600. I spent the morning just queuing randomly with people looking for a healer or me looking for dps and i went through a ton of rets i probably went through about five different rets i tried a demo warlock i got paired up with a really good elemental shaman but he had to go after we won a couple but this one here for whatever reason we really vibed well together he wasn't the highest rating he was actually about 100 points lower than me but um, i paired up with him and we won like eight in a row or something there's a screenshot here i'm going to show in a second to show how many we won he just really worked well together. He didn't do anything crazy or fancy. He wants to do anything insane, but he just worked with me. There's a couple times where I got caught, trapped, targeted, and he would bot me. You know, he'd, he'd heal. He would he would help out and work as a, as a teammate. And when he lost one, he didn't lose his crap and quit. So overall, we worked really well together. Climbed to 1600. It was a, a nice surprise. I will say that this has been the hardest season that I've ever remember climbing. To 1600. I've gotten higher before on the rest of Druid. I think in Legion I got to like 1750 or 1800, somewhere around there. And this one I tried harder than I ever had before. Got into more macros and keybinds and UIs and add ons. And it was really, it's really been a struggle, honestly. Uh, this may be a co coincidence, but out of all these games that you're looking at, you'll notice there aren't many Resto Druids. In fact, there's a lot of Disc Priests out right now, but. Yeah, I, I don't want to lean on too heavily how bad, quote unquote, bad Resto Druids are right now, but they are definitely not in the best healing position. Or to more easily point out, we can't do any damage. You can argue how much we can heal, but we definitely can't do damage like all the other healers in the game. So anyway, got 1600. That was really cool. That was my goal. And hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you like, subscribe and, and comment and stuff. Thanks.